Uh, we will uh, conduct a profile projector experiment. This is an optical uh, profile projector. Okay, the purpose of uh, conducting this experiment is uh, to <coughs> measure the values of uh, screw thread parameters and uh, gear parameters. Okay, screw thread parameters, the major diameter and minor diameter of the screw thread, then uh, tooth depth and also the angle of the screw thread. Okay, these are the parameters we are going to measure using this profile projector. Okay, same thing you can measure using the optical uh, projector as well as the tool makers microscope. In the tool makers microscope it is manually done. In this profile projector it is automatic. Here basically the principle uh, that is used for measuring the gear uh, parameters and uh, as well as uh, the screw thread parameters is by projecting the screw thread okay, onto the screen of this uh, profile projector and by <coughs> using the these cross wires. Okay, I think you can see the cross wires that are uh, visible here. By coinciding the cross wires with the, the threads which are projected of that uh, screw thread and uh, by aligning the horizontal and uh, vertical wires that is x axis and y axis of this case screen you are going to measure the diameter the major diameter and minor diameter and the thickness of the thread and also by coinciding the x axis with the flank of the thread you are going to measure the angle of the thread okay in the similar way by using the gear you can measure the parameters of the gear Okay, here we are going to make use of uh, combinations of the lens and the mirrors to project the image of the um, screw thread okay, onto the screen. Okay, you can see here, this is the table where we are going to keep this screw thread. Okay, and by keeping this screw, okay, we are going to project the screw thread profile onto the projector. Okay, that way, okay, this will help us to find out the screw thread parameters okay, automatically and uh, the values of this screw thread that major diameter and minor diameter can be read directly using this <coughs> system. Okay, here you can see x axis and y axis. Okay, this will show you the values of x axis and y axis with respect to the corresponding uh, thread. Okay, and uh, you can uh, see the conduction of this experiment. Okay and uh, that will be shown by our instructor okay, and uh, this is how you have to conduct the experiment and uh, you have to find out the required parameters of this screw thread. Thank you very much. Today we are going to conduct an experiment called as a profile projector. What is this profile projector? Profile is projecting. So whenever you want to measure any tools or any very important uh, dimensions in an inspection, we can use this profile projector. It works just like in your uh, TMM only, tool makers microscope only. Here we are doing in a tool makers microscope, we are going to do with a manual. Here everything is automatic. So, what are the things here? I will explain you now. Here we have a screen. So, you can see this how the screen will look like. It will be look like this. Here we have a crosshair. Crosshair is uh, nothing but your reference, reference line. Crosshair is nothing but reference line. So here we have a measuring system, strand measuring is directly like LBDT we have a strand measuring system like 1 micron system, very accurate thing and this line is very accurate for us and we have a bevel protractor here like your 0 to 180 and 0 to 180, red scale and black scale, both are common, you can see this. Here, I am just explaining you the same thing, the thread profile, how to measure the thread profile using a profile projector. Uh, in a tool makers microscope, we will do a manual here, you can directly do through the automatic systems. Here we have a uh, measuring, micro strand measuring systems, you can see this, uh, the micro strand measuring systems will directly show you 0 point, if you move a line, if you move a line, I am just moving a line on here, so you can see this. If you press reset, it will go to the zero, and you can see this. It's showing zero point zero zero zero. It means what is the least count of your linear means point double zero one. That is one micron here. 
that is what uh, you can directly take the reading on here. I am just moving and uh, reading here. You can see this how accurately it's moving. You can read, you can uh, move out single digit also. So, that is your linear scale. So, if you want to measure the major dia, so what we will do, we are going to take the major dia here. From this to this is major dia, from this to this is minor dia, from one uh, distance between the two consecutive threads is your pitch. Any of distance you can type directly here. So, how to do that? Uh, I already explained the light principle. It will directly come from the base, it is projected in your camera and it is projected in your screen. Shadow principle here. So, if you want to measure the surface, it is very very easy. You can see this. It is showing you the surface of sun here. So, if you want more clarity, here we have a system called as an up and down movement. If you do this, you can see this. There is a blurness came here. If you want more clarity, you can see there is no shadow in the system. This is what happening. So, this is more clarity now. Now, I want to measure the major dia. Which direction you are moving? This is your x axis, this is your y axis. So, if you are moving a y axis, the y axis reading has to be noted down. If you want to measure a pitch, you are moving in an x axis, the x axis reading has to be taken down. How to do this? See, I just mentioned a, a crosshair has been perfectly butted to a top line. I am just going to press a reset button in a y direction. If you move the y direction, you can see this. If you move gradually the y direction, you will directly get the reading on here. You can directly see this. It is 23.978. M24 I am measuring here. It is giving some 23.978. Directly the reading has been given on here. Okay. So, like that, major dia, minor dia. To measure the pitch, very simple thing to measure the pitch. How to do that? So, I am going to take distance between the two consecutive threads. Either I can take like this. This is my first consecutive thread. So, I am measuring in a or you can take any one reference point also that belongs to you. So, I am just making the XS a zero. I am just moving a, another one thing on here. Distance between the two consecutive threads will give you the pitch here. You can directly give, take the pitch 3.013. That is the reading. It has been directly given to you. This is how to conduct the major dia, minor dia and pitch of the system. And one more important is there that is angle of the thread. How to find the angle of the thread? This is very very important. I am going to explain you. So here we have a black scale. Here we have a red scale. We are doing a manual uh, bell protractor to read this. How to do this? Here 0 to 10. How many divisions are there? 0 to 10 degree. Count this from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 plus 10 is 20 divisions. Your 0 to 10 degrees divided by 20 divisions here. So you can see this 0 to this is 0, 0 to 10 you have a 20 divisions. So what is the least uh, least count of your MSD? MSD is 0 to 20. 0 to 10 degree we have 20 divisions. 0.5 degree. It's not 0.5 degree. Actually it is 30 minutes. It means 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes. That is divided by 2 here. That is 30 minutes is the least count of your MSD. And that 30 minutes is divided in a vernier scale. You can see this. You have two types. I will explain. I explained in the tool makers microscope also. So we have a black scale and a red scale. 0 to 30. They have been made 30 divisions here. So what is the least possible measurements you can do using a bell protractor here is 1 minute. In tool makers microscope it is 6 minutes. Here it is 1 minute. So each division is giving a 1 minute here. Black scale. See you can see this. This is black scale. If you are reading a black scale, you should always read the black scale here. If you are reading the red scale, you should always read the red scale on here. How to take the reading? You can see this. There is a lock. You can open this lock. So you can see this. I am just... Don't touch in the center of your screen. See this. I am just making a parallel to the system. I just make one parallel to the system. See this? How much it has been crossed? You can count it from here. It's crossed 20, 25 degrees. It's crossed 26, 27, 
28 degree crossed. 28 degree 30 minutes cross not reach the 29 degree. So MSD is 28 degree 30 minutes and you can see which line is coinciding. The line is coinciding is here is the fifth division. So 28 degree 35 minutes is the reading. Like that. One degree one has been taken. I am just coming back to the original position. Zero. And same. I am here only. So I am going to take the alternate one. This angle. Now it's now you can see I am taking in a red scale. Now I took in a black scale. Now I am taking in a red scale. You should start reading from here. 0 to 10 degree, 20 degree. 30 degree, 30 minutes cross, not reach the 31 degree. And you have to read in a red vernier scale. If you add the both, you will get the reading. This is one method. Sir, I don't want to read in a black and a red scale. Suppose if a student asks, you can make another one thing. Instead of this uh, 0 degree, I am going to make it, I am just keeping in a middle, I am making this as a 0 here. What is that? 90 degree as a 0 on here. 90 degree as a 0 on here. I can make it like this. So now this is a 0. Now you can take one reading on here. One reading on here. I'm just it's come around 120 degree and I'm coming back to the original position 90 degree. I'm just taking the another one same reading on here. You can see this? It's coming around 60 degree. So 120 minus 60 will give you the 60 degree or 30 plus 30 it will also give you the 60 degree only. It means if you read both the reading in a black scale you need to subtract or both the reading in a red scale you need to subtract. If you take one reading from the black scale and one reading from the red scale you should add. But you should know the least count of your system. If you are reading the black scale you should read the black. If you are reading a red scale you should read the red one. Thank you.